guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so today I'm going to be unboxing my new iPad mini. I've been dying to open this. I'm so excited. I know this is a little bit different from all my other videos, but I'm trying like this ASMR aesthetic type of video. So hope you guys like it. So today I'm going to be unboxing, unboxing some accessories. I'm going to kind of change the widgets and organize the screen. I'm going to try drawing using an iPad pencil and I'm going to customize my iPad case. So there's a lot to do. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off, let's open the box. Come on, come on. And the reveal. It's so pretty. Let's see what else it comes with. Some instructions and the charger. And three, two, one. English, Japan, and I'm just going to quickly set it up. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is my current iPad, and it's literally smaller than half the size. This is an iPad Pro, and I use it all the time, but it is a little bit big and bulky. A little bit heavy for my liking. So I wanted a smaller iPad, I could bring it around and basically use it everywhere. And I'm also loving the purple. I don't know, it kind of looks gray. It's not like a purple purple, but I think this hint of purple is so aesthetic. So now, onto the accessories. First off, I got two stands, and I wanted to see which one works better.
Next up, I decided to set up the wallpaper. All you have to do is go to settings and look for the wallpaper on the left side. I'm really loving this new background. If you're interested, just google purple dreamy sky. I kinda changed the colors and added some sparkles to it, so I don't think you can find exactly the same one. But if you're interested in mine, I will put it up on my Instagram, so please check it out. Next up, let's customize the home screen. First off, I deleted all the apps. I use most of these apps and stuff with my iPhone, and I'm probably not going to use them on my iPad mini, so I'm just cleaning it all up by deleting everything. I'm going to mostly use my iPad mini for making thumbnails, checking emails, and checking my SNS accounts, like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, oh did I say that, and TikTok, which is basically my job. I'm a full-time YouTuber, so it's essential to be able to check all my accounts wherever and whenever. Okay, next up, I downloaded Widget Smith and other widget apps that I found. It was actually my first time using these apps, so I kind of struggled at first. Let's go on Widget Smith. You can basically customize widgets in different sizes with different features, like clock, calendar, random text, and more. After you make your widget, all you have to do is hold down on the home screen until it kind of jiggles. Then touch the plus button on the top left corner. Find Widget Smith and add the widget that you just made. I tried to add an extra large widget at first, but then it was too big for an iPad mini. Like, it took up the whole space, so I just deleted it. I also tried to use the other app called Widget SD. You can also create some more widgets with different aesthetics. You can change the font, the color, but I liked it as it was. So again, I went back to the home screen, held down until it kind of jiggled, tapped the plus sign, and added the widgets. First, choose the size of widget that you want. Go back to the home screen, and hold on to the widget that you just made. Then tap edit widget. You can choose the display type like calendar, battery, clock, and then choose the type of widget that you just made. I also decided to add my drawing of Sailor Moon that I drew like years ago since I thought it fit the vibe. I will also link that in my Instagram post. I kept adding and deleting widgets to look for like the best one, and after all that, I rearranged all the widgets and apps to make it look clean. I just brought all the apps that I really use on the first screen. Okay, it's looking good so far. Next up, I want to try drawing. I draw all the time, so it's really important to me how it feels as like a drawing tablet. Obviously, I think I'm going to use my bigger iPad Pro for like more detailed drawings, but still, I might want to like draw on the go, just like randomly. So I just want to try it out. So first off first, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to draw a really quick sketch using a pencil and paper. I drew this Sailor Moon years ago, but I happen to have a speed paint video of it. Obviously, I will use my drawing tablet for more intricate drawings like this, but I will definitely use my iPad to draw maybe like quick and cute simple drawings. Since this is like a test, I decided to draw a semi-complicated drawing, but no, I probably wouldn't use an iPad mini in the future for these kind of drawings. But let's see how it turned out. So this is the rough draft. Not perfect yet, but it's okay. Now I'm just going to take a picture and put it into the iPad. I'm just going to insert the photo in and let's start drawing. So I normally draw the sketch with paper and pencil. I don't know, I can never sketch using digital tablets. Like I just need to feel that pencil scratching the paper. And I started using this technique where you don't care about the anatomy at first. Like you draw whatever you want. Then when you put it in the digital tablet, you can kind of copy and paste, resize, and fix the anatomy. 
This technique would make the drawing look a little bit more natural than drawing in all those lines and squares and circles to get the anatomy right. But you know, I'm still learning and struggling with everything still, so I'm not saying this is the right technique. It's just been working for me for my recent drawings. So as you can see, I decided to draw Sailor Saturn. I thought the whole purple dreamy sky reminded me of Sailor Moon, and since this tablet and everything is purple based, Sailor Saturn would be the best for this project. I watched Sailor Moon when it was like 2, and back then I remember I used to love Sailor Moon and Chibi Usa. But now that I'm older, I'm sure I would like Sailor Saturn the most since she's such an enchanting character. And here's the line art. Now to the fun part, I'm just going to fill it in and start coloring. Oh by the way, look at this super happy dog who just came back from a good long walk. Don't worry, I only put her in there for like a few minutes until I get my towels to wipe her little feet. I never really use that cage anymore, but she literally has the sweetest smile I couldn't resist putting it in this video. And now let's go back to the drawing. I have to say I was pleasantly surprised with how it felt using the iPad mini to draw. The strokes were on point, it barely lagged, and the battery life was great. However, if you're looking for some kind of iPad for drawings mainly, this may not be it. First off, the small screen kind of bothered me a bit, but I feel like it's only because I'm not really used to it. I'm sure after a while the size wouldn't bother me at all. In fact, there are a lot of artists who use their iPhone to draw magnificent drawings. And the lag. It didn't lag at first for a very long time, but it did start to kind of lag at the end when there were lots of layers. This never happens with my iPad Pro. So yes, the iPad Pro is so much better for drawing, and I'm probably not going to reach this mini for drawing, but it definitely does its job, and you can make quick simple drawings for sure. I am done with the drawing. It was kind of lagging at the end, probably because of all these layers, but I'm happy with the battery. I was basically drawing for the whole time, for a few hours, and it still has 42%, which I think is pretty good. And I'm just going to save it as a transparent PNG. I'm just going to add the background, and save. I'm just going to use this for my background. So the screen looks like this when opened, and when I turn it on, it looks something like this. I think so far so good. And now I'm going to customize some cases. So first off, I'm going to customize this case. So um, I drew this a few weeks ago, and since I really like it, I kind of want to like print it out and stick it onto here. I decided to print it on sticker paper and cut it out using a cutter machine. Obviously, this part is optional. You don't need a Cricut machine to customize cases. But I thought it would look a little bit more professional. I also decided to make it into two parts. I first printed on transparent sticker paper so it's all clear, but then I noticed that the top part would look kind of weird. So I printed the top part only with white sticker paper and placed it on top of the transparent sticker. This will make it look better with the top part opaque and the bottom part sheer like a real cup. Okay, I'm going to customize one more case, and this one is a clear case. I got it on Amazon for real cheap.
For my second case, I decided to print out some watercolor flowers on transparent sticker paper. I bought these flower drawings online so they were not free. I believe in paying artists for their creations so I don't really mind, but I'm sure you can find similar ones if you just google them. And lastly, I also printed out my Sailor Saturn drawing that I just drew. Let's all put it together, and this is how it turned out. This is how it turned out. What do you guys think? I think it turned out really pretty and I just can't wait to use it every single day. I'm probably going to use it as like a mini iMac on my desk. I do have more ideas on how to customize the cases so if you guys liked it please give me a thumbs up and a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!